We're thrilled to have you join us for today's session, Watch or Listen. In this session, we'll explore insert topic in a way that allows you to engage at your own pace and in your own style. Whether you're someone who prefers to watch and observe or listen and reflect, this session is designed with you in mind. Get comfortable and let's dive into a learning experience that meets you where you are. Telemedicine, remote diagnosis and treatment of patients using telecommunications technology. Telehealth, broader term encompassing telemedicine, remote patient monitoring, digital health applications, and health education. Key difference, telemedicine focuses on clinical services, while telehealth includes a wider range of healthcare services. There are four types of telemedicine, Real-time telemedicine, live video consultations between healthcare providers and patients. Store and forward, transmission of recorded health information, e.g. x-rays, photos, for evaluation by a healthcare provider. Remote patient monitoring, RPM, continuous monitoring of patients' health data via wearable devices. Mobile health, mHealth, use of mobile devices and health apps to support healthcare services. About the benefits of telemedicine, they are Increased access to care, reaches patients in remote or underserved areas Convenience, reduces the need for travel and time off work Cost efficiency, lowers health care costs through reduced hospital visits Enhanced patient engagement, empowers patients to manage their own health So what are the challenges? Technology access requires reliable internet and digital devices. Privacy and security, ensuring data protection and compliance with regulations like HIPAA. Licensing and reimbursement varies by state and insurance providers. User comfort and training, patients and providers must be comfortable with the technology. The regulatory and legal considerations depend on each country or region where this technology is used. For example, HIPAA compliance, telemedicine platforms must adhere to strict privacy and security standards. State licensing, providers must be licensed in the state where the patient is located. Reimbursement policies, coverage for telemedicine services varies by insurance provider and state. Informed consent, patients must be informed about the risks and benefits of telemedicine services. Telemedicine technologies include video conferencing platforms, secure platforms for live consultations, e.g. Zoom for healthcare, doxy.me, wearable devices, continuous monitoring of vital signs, glucose levels, and heart rate, electronic health records, EHRs, integration of telemedicine with EHR systems for comprehensive patient management, Mobile health apps, apps for monitoring health metrics, medication adherence, and virtual consultations. And there are different applications of telemedicine as well. Primary care, routine consultations, follow-ups, and chronic disease management. Mental health, remote therapy sessions and psychiatric evaluations. Specialist consultations, access to specialists without the need for travel. Chronic disease management, monitoring and managing conditions like diabetes, hypertension, and COPD. Telemedicine best practices, patient preparation, Ensure patients understand how to use telemedicine technology. Provider training. Healthcare professionals should be trained in telemedicine etiquette and technology use. Quality of care. Maintain the same standard of care as in-person visits. Documentation. Accurately document telemedicine encounters in the patient's health record.
There was increased a potion of telemedicine during the COVID-19 pandemic due to social distancing measures. Regulatory flexibility, temporary relaxation of some regulations to support telemedicine expansion. Continuity of care, maintained patient care during lockdowns and reduced exposure risk. Post-pandemic trends, ongoing use of telemedicine as part of a hybrid care model. What about the future of telemedicine? Integration with AI, use of artificial intelligence for diagnostics and personalized care. Telemedicine in rural health, expanding access to specialized care in rural and remote areas. Advancements in wearable tech, improved patient monitoring and real-time health data analytics. Global expansion, increasing adoption of telemedicine across the world, driven by technology and policy changes. Thank you all for joining us today. As we wrap up, I hope you found value in our watch or listen approach, allowing you to engage in the way that best suits your learning style. Whether you absorbed the content by watching or listening, we're glad to have shared this experience with you. We appreciate your participation and hope this light, flexible method has enhanced your learning journey. Until next time, take care and keep exploring new ways to grow and learn.